Welcome to Mitchum Notes. Today's video will be about bomb damage to houses in Morden Road and Morden Gardens in 1940. A year ago, in July 2023, I did a video review of a 1947 aerial photo of the Benedict Wharf area. I've received a comment on this video pointing out that you can actually see some houses being rebuilt after they were destroyed in a bomb that fell in 1940. So in this video I'm going to have a look and see what information we can find about that attack. So first of all, let's have a look at the aerial photograph again. This is on the photos page on the Mitchum History Notes website. Under aerial click on Mitchum and the Benedict Road industry. There are a bunch of photographs from 1937, none of which show the particular area we're interested in, unfortunately. But there are other things we can come back to at a later date. And there's a bunch of photographs from 1947. And this last one is the one we're interested in. I particularly like this photo because you can zoom in to get quite a bit of good detail. So in the, in the foreground we have the London Road playing fields. Over there on the right hand side is Church Path. And this is Barron's Walk which led to... Morden Road. Let's have a quick look over here at Deer Park Gardens. You can see the layout of the green in the centre shows that there were allotments there for reducing food for the war effort. There's the Morden Road. That's Ravensbury Grove. And on the corner there was the Ravensbury Tavern Pub. What we're interested in today is Morden Road and Morden Gardens, which is further down here, past the Ravensbury Park. And yes, you can see construction work in underway, houses being rebuilt. Let's put some labels onto this so we can orient ourselves and use some boxes to show what looks like houses that were damaged and were subsequently demolished. Let's have a look at a map. So Morden Road is at the top, Morden Gardens here. Another way of looking at it is like this. Are there any photographs available showing the damage? One possible source for local photographs is Merton Memories. If we go into the advanced search feature and under collection there is a wartime section Second World War bomb damage and choose the area of Mitcham. The Morden Road we're looking at is the one in Mitcham. See what photographs we've got available. 19 are available. Cricketers, Dorset Road, bomb damage to the colour printers, Morden Road. This is twenty sixth of September, nineteen forty. Go back to our aerial photograph. The color printers was here. Twenty sixth of September, nineteen forty. The spreadsheet shows us eighteenth of November, nineteen forty. Come back to that in a minute. So this looks like a different attack. So 
green church, some oaks area. Inglemill Road. Come side west. Pitcairn Road. Pitcairn Road. Langdale Avenue. Pitcairn Road. London Road. Th these ones, London Road, Pitcairn Road. Langdale Avenue, they're all related to the video I did, which we do have movie footage from the Pathé Newsreel. And the one here it says St Mark's Church area. This is Pembroke Road. I've covered that in a video already. Damage caused by a landmine, Pembroke Road. Picture is not dated, but this damage was probably caused. Uh, well, I'll cover that one. Perhaps I should send them an email. And that's not bomb damage, that's digging up the tram tracks. Okay, they got the wrong picture there. Never mind, I'll email them. Let them know. So no. Some of Mrs. J. Kiddle's pets. This is 12 Upper Green East. So that's related to the bombing of the Methodist Church. So no, Merton Memories doesn't have a photograph. So let's go back to the aerial photograph. And there were four fatalities in this raid on the 18th of November 1940 at number 77 Morden Road, Donald Gerald Balfour Millbank, aged 12. At number 79 Morden Road, Frank Allen Lockhart, aged 40. At number 81, Dora Clifton, aged 55. And at number 87, Louisa Lydia Woodbury, aged 72. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you could press the like button. If you didn't like the video, you could press the dislike button and leave a comment either way if you could. And consider subscribing because more subscribers means the possibility that YouTube will recommend this to more people. And you never know, someone might come up with another comment that gives us more information about some aspects of Mitchum's history. Bye for now.